Man tells us why they made the trek from Jamaica to the Bahamas, then to Pompano Beach this morning. Welcome back viewers and the subscribers. Walk on, place up, place up first and foremost. I will land with the latest updates and mix up and mix downs. So subscribe if for your first time over here so and like Kaza Bangings. Alright, so we are gonna just kick it off with the condolences to mother the mother. So you can just comment down below, sleep in peace from now. You see me and I'm glad for she said she gets sent off properly. I'm not going to tell no lie. I'm not going to tell no lie. Knowing how I love her and the person who is becoming alive. I mean, I share a video with you. Know, it, as, 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 as what me would have said, this looks like a family plot. So you can tell me what you think. We all know send off is one of the hardest parts seen her the last time, is it? A person who you love her, you know, the last time. So end of the day, we just want to say sleep in peace. And you don't know, you might see her again. Because it not just stop this. Anyways, viewers, if you still a watch, I want to tell you, you say a young mother dies after miscarriage. Yes, we mean Ashley Crosdale, that's the name she goes by. And she are only 26 and she live at Dela Cree Lane, that in Kingston. And uh, one of the most bizarre thing ever at my guys. May I share it with you now? So I like Alright, you see, so two weeks ago it looked like she did have a four month baby, you see me. The baby had even nine months properly. But at the doctor where she go visit one private doctor, the men up tell her said the baby it not look right. Fear upon fear and you see me so it's like she not talk what really go down. Go down, go down, you see it, but otherwise from the health center we could have inform her and what really are going so Jaja, Jaja guys, Jaja. Alright, so let me tell you what going on. It's like somebody and I did in a, some altercation, you see me, I don't know who, I don't know when, but all I can say the baby died inside her, you see it as it comes to you. So then we da remove some of my tissue and some thing. We don't go in at that but Jano you know, dog and I can't put on pan baby mother. I mean if it bother somebody if she lose it, but no one see a smuddy would have beat her violent dog, is it? Just to know that dog, is it? The person if you get it man, if I even a sentence or the injury, is it? We both can agree on that. Due to how too much things are going on one place in a Jamaica, we just a share them. So if you still have watch, just know say 14 migrants who were traveling on a boat who came ashore it in the South Florida beaches. Them get detained easily, easy, easily. And as you can see, um, the intro other video, yeah, the person said, no, we're not going to Jamaica. So him fleeing are one of the best things he can do because it's a violent place, judge. In the day still you feel like you can go up and go for nobody land and talk about how no one no, go on your place. Them not nah, share no remorse that beyond the law, that against the law. But you don't know on the other hand and your oldness are pray for free up the place under certain um you know criteria. I wanted to point out that there's always been a kind of nexus between the Ministry of Health and the Ministry of Education for vaccination always i remember my time in primary school when you know i was i was never afraid of the vaccine but i was afraid of the needle <laughs> so so i would always you know when my time came to go to the front of the line i would go to the back until i got i got my my um my jam and we've been doing this almost all jamaicans have had this experience through our primary education system and many of our teachers who are parents would be the first to insist that their children get vaccinated. And presently, it is the law, it is required for students who are registering in school for the first time that they show their vaccination certificates, uh, their vaccination documents, which would include their first shots and their booster shots. It is a requirement. So I'm not quite uh, understanding 
of this uh, uh, you know, movement of anti-vaccination when Jamaica has benefited from uh, participating in a full-scale public education campaign and public vaccination campaign. Uh, and uh, indeed, we have removed from our population many health threats, many diseases, by virtue of participating in full vaccination campaigns. So, whilst I respect, Melody, I do respect, and Minister, I respect the opinions of persons who may have some hesitancy or some beliefs different from the beliefs I have, and, and it is a, a democracy, people are free to have it. But you are not free to in any way destabilize or prevent others from getting vaccines. You're, you're not free to do that. You're, you're not free to disrupt, uh, to discourage others. Uh, it is a disservice to the country. We need to, re to attain 65% of the population or more being vaccinated before we can achieve what the scientists call herd immunity, where there is uh, a significant number of the population so vaccinated so that spread becomes difficult or impossible. So I would encourage persons who are hesitant not to prevent others, not to spread misinformation. If, if that's your view, that's your view. But I would also encourage those who may be undecided, who may be contemplating, to please make the decision to get vaccinated. The government will continue through efforts like this to engage and to provide the information. And you on your own can, in today's world, we live in the information age, you can find the right information to help you to make the decision about vaccination. The decision to return to face to face will be driven obviously by the public health science but it will also have to be balanced by the social and economic imperatives. The, the cabinet of Jamaica which I lead um, takes into consideration all the recommendations that come from the Ministry of Education, from the Ministry of Health, from the Ministry of Finance and we balance them because at the end of the day, uh, we don't want you to survive COVID and die of hunger. Uh, you know, it's, that's the stark reality. So we want you to survive COVID and still have your job. We want you to survive COVID and still be, be educated. Uh, so the perspective that we have now at this point in time is that we are looking to a return to face-to-face -face education in September. This is our thinking at this point in time. Things could change. You could have a third wave. It could. But if things work out for the better, if you get vaccinated, for example, we are projecting that in the month of August we should have um, some supplies of vaccines that would allow for uh, more persons to get access to vaccines. If, as a result of this press, press conference, this, this um, town hall meeting, if uh, on the next weekend, Melody reports that we have 80 to 90% of our teachers vaccinated, then we would be on a good run to, to ensure that come September, we could have the schools reopened. But the Ministry of Education is prepared for that and they're planning for that and I want the country to appreciate that that we want to go back to face to face but it all depends on how you behave the decisions you make